I am not going to be able to do a regular video today on this channel. Uh, Waldo is right back to where he started this morning. And I'm pretty damn upset. Because somebody right around me, very close, has lit a fire. They did this two nights ago. And it stinks so bad. It has just filled my house with the worst smell I have ever smelled out of a fire. It's like a big burn pile that they've accumulated over a year with materials that shouldn't be in there, treated wood, probably sheetrock, anything else. I don't know what's in it, but it is horrible. And I've got a dog with a respiratory infection. I mean, if it's in my house so bad I'm getting sick, it's in there, and it is in there. And now it's to the point where it's just we've gotten used to it, but I still smell it, and I can't get it out of my system. So I can imagine what he's going for. So I went in there this morning and he's right back to where he was three days ago. Uh, he did eat. I, I put his medicine in two separate hot dogs and he unwillingly ate one. He wouldn't eat the other one. I don't know what to do about that. I mean, there's things you can control and there's some things we can't control. But what the hell are they burning? It's obviously something you shouldn't be burning. And I don't know where it's coming from. It Yesterday, uh, I noticed that the night before last, it was really bad. And I had some windows open. And it, you know, I don't even think what the windows open. With, if the windows were closed, it would have mattered. It is so bad. And I can't get rid of it. it it's just horrible. I mean, you can't even stand to be outside. And, you know, that's something I can't control. But it, the timing is terrible. Because that is one thing he needs is good, clean air. And we can't even get that right now. So I went in there, and I thought these videos were over about him. And that he was on his road to recovery. He still may recover. But he has regressed back to the before I took him to the vet. The first day I found him like this, and that's how he was this morning. I got him up on his feet because he's laying on that floor. And, and a dog is going to lay. They're going to they're gonna do what's comfortable for them. So I'm not going to make him get in the bed if that's not how he's comfortable. But he was on that floor, and, you know, it's getting colder. It's still warm in there. And I got him on his feet. And he stood there, and he wasn't swaying or nothing. He just, he's still breathing really short breaths. And this air is not helping. And even if they put it out today, it's still going to smell. It's going to smell like this for weeks. Uh, it's even hard to explain. You know, I know what smelling pine and cedar smells like. This is old construction debris. There's probably plastics in there. It just reeks bad. And I don't want to be outside. <laughs> I mean, it's it seems to lift a little bit in the daytime. But as soon as that sun starts going down, oh, my God, it's terrible. And I wouldn't let Rooster out last night. I mean, it's that bad. They are burning. They're having the bluegrass festival, but they've never burned anything. What they do is they, they're cutting limbs and stuff because people are coming in. And that's all you ever smell from over there is cedar and, and wood that they've cut off trees or gathered up. It isn't that. There is materials mixed in with this that should not be burned. And, it, you know, it's too late to do anything about it. But it cannot be helping him. It cannot because you go in that dog apartment and it's worse than it is in, in. I mean, the house is just as bad. I couldn't even bring them in here. It's just as bad. I can't get rid of it. I've sprayed Febreze till I've used the whole bottle. It's terrible. And man, I guess a damn man about that. 
Uh, some people just don't care. They just don't care. They'll burn anything, you know. Don't think about the people that's around them. So, I, well, whoever it is, I hope it's blowing into their house tenfold than what I'm getting. <laughs> but I got to be spending the day dealing with him. Uh, he's looking pretty rough. And it's the last thing I thought I'd have to come on here and say. Because I thought I had him on the road to recovery. And that's not the case, man. It ain't. And maybe he'll perk out of it a little bit later. But his breathing is still the way it was. And I don't know. He, he was looking good yesterday. And then, you know, I hope I did not confuse his medication uh, he has four of them he's got to take. I had opened a bottle that he's supposed to take every 24 hours. And I, he's supposed to get two of this one medication, two two pills. So I got one out, stuck it in the hot dog. And then I went to look, and I'm like, oh, man. I had the lid off both bottles. I'm like, which one did I get it out of? So I got my glasses and I was looking at the the writing on, and the pills are exactly, they look exactly the same out of both bottles. But one has different, it has writing on one side and then a line through the writing. And the other ones don't have that. So I know I didn't mix those up. God, I, that would be horrible. And even if I did, I don't think it would do anything to them. Uh, it was prednisone. I don't think that would be fatal or anything like that. But, man, you got to wonder about stuff like that. So I was extra careful this morning, but he would only eat one of them. And I'm not going to make him do anything he ain't got wanting to do. Uh, he just, he's rough this morning. So we'll see how the day progresses, but I don't want to be spending my day moving cameras and making videos when I've got a, you know, when he needs my attention. So that's why you're getting this kind of video today. We're getting one out. So pray for Waldo. Still, he's not out of the woods by a long shot. And this was the last thing I was expecting. Um, so all I can do is just, you know, make sure he's comfortable. And right now he's laying on his side. I, I he, Like I said, they're going to lay the way they're comfortable. You wouldn't think it looks comfortable to us, but to them, that's what's comfortable. Uh, I just hope he pulls out of it again. It, it, it's the most confusing thing to me because he'll be looking like that, and then an hour later, he's up, he's walking around. But this is probably the worst I've seen him this morning. Uh Besides the first day that he was down and out. I don't know. I don't know. If it's his time, it's his time. But he's got the medications on him. All we can do is hope that the medications start working. They can't, you know, he's on, he's on medicine that will clear up this infection. And it probably takes a while. But this fire, that ain't helping. I'd like to wring them people's necks, whoever's doing it. And yes, you have to make, you know, we, we, we burn a lot of things out here, but there's something in that pile <laughs> that should not be burned. It is awful. My whole house, I don't know if I'll ever get this smell out of this house. It's so bad. I'm going to have to throw away the curtains and probably the recliners and everything else because it reeks. You can't escape it. And it, I may go to town. I don't know. I really want to leave right now, but I'm going to really look and see who the hell's burning this nasty stuff. And there have been a lot of barns and buildings tore down. Uh, the storms destroyed them, and, you know, you got to burn whatever the debris is. Uh, I just wish they had a way. You know, I, I think if it was a wet pile, it'd probably be worse. I mean, I don't blame the people, but if there's something in there like plastic, it doesn't smell like plastic smell. That's unique. 
Uh, to me, it smells like very old treated lumber, which is pretty bad. And I know everybody around here has got to be smelling it for miles because it's terrible. Maybe a house burnt down somewhere that I'm not aware of. It, it, that very well could be. Uh, it smells like that. Something burned down, and it's nobody's fault. But it's just the timing of it. You know, any other time, I would just complain a little, and then a few days later, it'd be gone. But right now, it's the timing. He so happens to have, uh, you know, an illness that he needs good air, and I can't get it for him. I can't. And actually, the dog apartment isn't as bad as the house. The house is worse than the dog apartment, if you can believe that. Because all day yesterday, when I was making a video, these windows were open, and it was floating in here. Yeah, so. Just a short one today. I know you guys don't like talking videos on here, but I, don't, I ain't going to be out doing a bunch of stuff today. I got I to gotta focus on him, getting him better, at least making him comfortable. And we'll see what happens. Uh, I, I didn't expect this. Because he was showing, you know, and he still may be fine. I don't know. But he ain't looking good this morning. And we got the weather changing at night. It's getting colder. That's probably not helping him either. Uh, but this smell, I think this smell is really making it bad. He went outside last night for a little while. And then he came back in, went right to the floor. Uh, but he's always liked sleeping on the floor. That is his favorite place to sleep. But he didn't get in the bed at all last night. And that could be because it's a new bed. He's been in it, so he knows how to get in it. Lily. <laughs> Lily just, I don't know if it was a good idea getting these beds because Lily won't get out of them. She is in there with this smile on her face the whole time. She's in her glory. But we got to get this boy better. And uh, so I'm going to focus on him today. And, man, I just hope I got better news next time. Because it's not, it's, he's not looking good, guys. And it's, I feel like a yo-yo. You know, I get hope. I'm happy. And then I see that, he, that he's not doing that great. And then back down. And. We'll just have to see. It's in God's hands. That's all I can say right now. There's nowhere I can take him today. And he's already been examined. We know what the issue is. So it's 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 up to Waldo. And I think he'll he'll pull through. But I uh, I don't know. I'm not I'm not I'm just not gonna get my hopes up too high. So but thanks for watching guys. The view, the views have been really good really good on both channels uh uh got some new members yesterday that helps that revenue will go to the dog rescue you know regardless of what happens with waldo i'm still dedicated to doing this there are other dogs out there millions of millions of dogs that need help and i'm just a small small little cog in the wheel but if we have a lot of cogs in the wheel then we have a wheel that makes any sense so the little bit that i can contribute uh may wake somebody else up uh, a few more people up and they can do something similar uh so i appreciate everybody that's watching and i was hoping there wouldn't be any drama like this going on but that's life you know you deal with it as you go Thanks for watching. Happy trails.